So what I'm going to show you now is just a, a quick uh, neurological examination, a screening exam like we do in clinic every day. Uh, first of all, of course, say hello to the patient. Hi, Professor Solomon, your name? My name is Simon. Simon, is it okay if I have a quick look at you? Yes. Good, all right. So, uh, and having looked at him and looked around the bed for any obvious clues, I'm then just going to ask him just to walk across the room for me, if you would. Yes. Have your head over that way. I want you now to walk one foot in front of the other, heel to toe, as if you're on a tightrope. That's great, that's fine, good. Now just go up on your tiptoes for me, good. And now on your heels like a duck. That's it, just take a few steps, good. Squat down and stand up. Okay, and up you come, good. And then just stand with your feet together. Put your hands out, spread your fingers. Close your eyes, keep them closed. Keep them closed, touch your nose with one hand. And touch your nose with the other hand. Good, okay, and just relax. Okay? Fine, have a seat there. Okay. So what we've been through there then, just very quickly, we've, we've checked that he can walk and he can heel-toe walk, and if people can do that, uh, and also uh, squat and stand, then basically their legs are working. And then also uh, with the eyes closed, uh, feet together and the hands out, we've done a Romberg's test, which tests joint position sensation. And also by asking him to do this, we've just very quickly assessed the function of his arms, whether he has any cerebellar signs or in, or in coordination and he doesn't. Okay, great. What I then tend to do is actually, when they're sitting on the edge of the bed like that, then examine the cranial nerves next. So, if you could pop your glasses off for me. Okay. Um, just check the pupils are reactive first of all. Look straight ahead. So I shine once in this eye and again, and once in this eye and again. And then I'll have a look at the fundi. So just have a look up in the corner. Keep your eyes very still, because I want to look at the back of your eye, OK? Good. So we're getting a red reflex. And then we come in. That's good. And just follow the veins in till you land on the disc. Just look over that way. Keep your eyes very still. OK, that's fine. So now I'll do the fields, and in terms of screening, just look at me. Uh, I want you to look at my nose and point to the hand which moves. And now, and now, they're both moving. If that's fine, that's normally all I'll do at that stage, but if we do want to assess the fields more formally, cover one eye for me. Keep looking at my eye. Tell me as soon as you see the red tip coming. Now. Good. Tell me as soon as you see it. Now. As soon as you see it. Now. Tell me when you see it coming. Now. Okay. Now, look at my eye. Tell me when it disappears then. and when it comes back. It's back. Good. Perfect. And clearly we do the same on the other eye. OK. Now, follow my finger. Tell me if you see double at all. Keep looking. OK. Up there. Down there. Over this way. OK. That's fine. Good. Now, does it feel the same both sides when I touch you there and there and there? Yep. Yeah. I don't normally assess the corneal reflex with a cotton wool in clinic, but I can if needed. Open your mouth. Don't let me close it. That's fine, good. Now screw up your eyes really tight. Show me your teeth. Open your mouth wide. Say ah. ah. Okay, just move your tongue around for me. That's good. Shrug your shoulders. Good. Push against my hand. Push against my hand. Can you hear that noise? Yes. Can you hear that noise? No. Now? Yes. Good, okay, fine. And that's it. Those are the cranial nerves done in about three minutes. And you'll see that for the sake of uh, speed in clinic, I juggle the order up a little bit, so uh, especially towards the end when the mouth is open, I'll then look at the tongue and I'll also look at movement of the palate. Okay, how's that? Fine. Yeah. Good. Okay, so then just pop your glasses back on and uh, rest up on the bed. Again, ideally I'd expose him completely, but given that uh, it's on camera, probably rather keep his clothes on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, again, observe in case there are any obvious abnormalities like fasciculations, wasting, scars. Um, and then I'm going to look at the tone. Just relax for me. That's lovely. Let your arms go nice and floppy. Just let your legs relax. Good. Let them relax as much as you can. Nice and floppy. Good. Okay. And normally the heel would stay more or less on the bed, uh, but because he's uh, slightly excited today, uh, they've, they've lifted up a bit. And we'll do clonus. Little jerk on your foot there, okay? And then the reflexes. I tend to do the reflexes now when he's nice and relaxed. 
even though the textbooks will tell you do power next, but I already know about power because I've just examined him walking. So we compare the sides. Again, ideally we'd expose the muscles so that we can see them, but certainly the reflexes are normal. Just relax your leg. There we go. Just relax it. Again, a bit on the brisk side because it's a Saturday morning and he's being examined uh, on camera when he'd rather be at home watching the telly. Is that true? They're always brisk. Uh, they're always brisk, okay. And then let's not forget the planters. Little scratch coming now. Okay. Do that one again? Okay. Uh, I'll then go on to power. So put your arms up like a chicken. Keep them up. Don't let me move them. Good. Don't let me move them. Good. Boxing gloves. Don't let me move it. Don't let me move it. Okay. Like this now. Don't let me move them. Keep it still. Don't let me move it. Spread your fingers out wide. Uh, don't let me push them together. Keep them out wide. Good. Make a ring. Don't let me break the ring. Very good. Just pop that piece of paper in there. Just there will do. That's it. Don't let me pull it out. Relax. Let's do this one. Don't let me pull it out. Good. That's the arms done. And then the legs. Lift that leg up. Stop me pushing it down. Lift that one up. Stop me pushing it down. Good. Put it down. Stop me lifting. Stop me lifting. Okay. Bend your knees. Pull your heel into your bottom. Okay. Now push me away. Good. Bend the knee. Pull the heel into the bottom. Push me away. Good. Bring your feet up towards you. Keep them up. Good. Push me away. Excellent. So power's fine. Sensation next. I tend to start with vibration. So that should be buzzing. Is it buzzing? Yeah. yeah. Can you feel it buzzing there? Yes. Can you feel it buzzing there? No. Okay, that's because I hit it like that. But if I hit it like that, can you feel it buzzing? Yes. So that's fine. Joint position examines the same pathways, essentially, the dorsal columns. Uh, so that's down, that's up. Which way is it moving now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Up. Now? Up. Good. Same with the foot. Which way now? Down. Now? Down. Now? Up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, light touch we do with a bit of cotton wool. I rarely do it in routine practice. And the pin prick, I won't use the tip, but uh, what I'll do is say, does it feel sharp like it should do? Yes. And then I'll just work the way up a little bit and then I'll go through the dermatomes. But again, I'm not going to do that today for, for purposes of speed. Uh, temperature I rarely test, but if I want to, I'll just say, does that feel cold? Cold enough. Good. Okay. Coordination. We've already seen some coordination from right at the beginning of the exam. But if I want to just reassess it, I'll say, touch my finger, touch your nose, keep going as fast as you can. Good. Swap to the other hand. Good, fast as you can, good. Uh, put the heel on the knee, run it down, and up in the air, and down again. And this one, so down, up in the air, down, like a bike, as if you're riding a bike, keep going. Okay, that's fine, rest it down. And um, uh, just finally tap as fast as you can, and then over, 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 over. Swap to the other hand, over, 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 fine, okay, and just relax. So there we are, we've done the whole neuro exam in about six minutes. Took a little bit longer because I was chatting. But basically, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't need to take too long. Thanks very much.